What's going on YouTube today? I'm giving y'all four tips to instantly smash any girl that you could ever imagine. All right, so coming in at number four, man, some of y'all are walking around this bitch smelling like raw dog rhino nuts. I'm not sure if I ever smell rhino nuts, but I'm pretty sure that shit smells like ass. That shit stinks. If you're a grown ass man, you walk around this bitch smell like must, you need your motherfucking ass beat because no female want no musty ass nigga. Do you want a musty bitch? But look, if you walking around musty, that's okay because that's why I'm here. The real RX is here. Make sure y'all get this motherfucking down soap. This motherfucking down soap gonna get you right. Oh God. Listen, my nigga, if yo must. It's strong than a bitch, cause I'm pretty sure it's some motherfuckers thinking, damn, yo ass be musty, yo ass be musty than a bitch. Look, go to any dollar store, go to your local Walmart, go to your motherfucking CVS. Yeah, the, look, the package open because I take bath showers on the daily. Get the dial soap, this motherfucker gonna knock the must out. This bitch strong, this bitch strong. Y'all, y'all and this bitch using ivory soap, motherfucker. You need the dial, nigga. Dial this motherfucking soap on your motherfucking ass and get to washing this shit because you musty. And no bitch don't want no musty nigga. Alright, coming in number three, man. Make sure you're getting a haircut maybe once or every two weeks or even once a month, my nigga. Some of y'all not even getting haircuts on a regular basis. Now, look, look, look. I know, I know you like, you're like the real RX. I don't care what people think. I don't care what people think about me. I don't really give a fuck what I look like. But guess what? The bitches do. They want, they want a good looking nigga. The bitches like when you got that fresh fade, you know what I'm saying? You got the fresh fade, you got the waves, you know what I'm saying? Or you got the two strand twist, or you got the motherfucking dreads, bro. Take care of yourself, my nigga. You walking around this bitch looking like a motherfucking sloth. A fucking sloth, my nigga. Please get a haircut. So check this out. Figure out what styles work best for you, and then after you figure that out, just exploit it. You might have to go maybe once a week, or maybe twice a week, or at least minimum once a month if you go once a month make sure you cut that shit low low as fuck that way it can last because let's be honest what girl don't want a good looking nigga she wanna she wanna look at you bro she wanna take you out she wanna she wanna send a picture to her friends in the group chat talk about look how fine my nigga is but y'all can't fuck him because that's my nigga it only makes sense and then also, once you start getting here, because once you start growing into yourself, you're going to start feeling a lot better. You're going to be like, yeah, I look good. Like, your confidence going to build up. But when you looking like shit and you smelling like shit, well, guess what? You're going to feel like shit because you are the shit. And what girl would a day a piece of shit? Nobody. Now, if you done made it this far in the video, you might as well hit the like and subscribe button because I'm going to get you late. After the end of the video, you're going to get some pussy. I'm just saying, you're going to get some pussy if you follow these steps. At least a month. Give it a month, you're going to get laid. No cap. All right, y'all. Coming in number two, man. Make sure you learn how to dress. Learn how to motherfucking make yourself look good. If you want to compete in the game, you got to learn how to play the game. Y'all niggas out here don't know the game plan, my nigga. You have to start addressing according to your body type. If you a skinny nigga, there should be no fucking reason you wearing a big and tall white tee. There's no reason. If you're a skinny dude like me, get you slim fit shirts. Slim fit shirts. You can't go wrong with polo. Get you a polo slim fit t-shirt. You're going to be good. I don't give a fuck with anybody say who the hell still rocking polo in 2022. Me, nigga. And I get the puss. If you're a bigger dude, there should be no fucking reason. Y'all wearing those small ass t-shirts and these small ass tiny pants, nigga. You, you built like a motherfucking elephant and you wearing this small ass shit. Boy, get the fuck out of that shit, my nigga. Listen, all men should dress accordingly to their body type. So if you a big nigga, I mean, if your body look right and you in the gym, okay, you can wear, you can wear some tight shit if you want your muscles to show. But if you don't look good... <laughs> you need to work on that, my boy. Learn how to dress. No cap. Once you start putting that shit on, you know what I'm saying? Once you start dressing good, guess what? You start getting attention. You start getting eyes. They're like, damn, who the fuck is this nigga? That motherfucker look good. They don't bitch. So now you ain't even got to run no game. You ain't even got to think of no crazy shit because the attention is already there, my nigga. It's a pussy attractor. It's like a motherfucking magnet. You look good. You built good. You smell good. She can't help but to notice you, my nigga. Come on. All right, y'all, listen, coming in at number one. Don't leave the bit. I know y'all niggas got to beat y'all me. I know y'all niggas got to beat y'all me. Y'all can't resist the urge to. But look, coming in at number one is confidence. You got to be confident, my nigga. Y'all trying to get the puss, but can't even form a motherfucking conversation. Y'all in it, bit. Uh, <laughs> Yes, Bobby, she like food, bro. She like food, but that's not going to cut it. You got to be confident, my nigga. You got to believe you the coldest motherfucker on the planet. I'm just saying. You got to walk, talk, shit, breathe, eat, 
nigga, goddamn beat your meat like a king. You're a king. So act like it. Because if you don't believe in yourself, why would a female even give you the chance if she already see that you a weak motherfucker? She already know you a clown. So why would she even give you the chance? Now listen, don't y'all lie to me. Don't you fucking lie to me right here. Be honest with me. Man to man, when is the last time you sat down by yourself and told yourself, I deserve to be here. I am worth everything. I deserve the better in life. Because if nobody ever told you that, if you haven't told yourself that, well, I'm telling you, you do. You're a king, my nigga. You deserve to be here. You work, you shit, you breathe, you pay taxes. You do everything everybody else does, so why don't you act like it? Confidence is one of those things where you cannot buy confidence. You can't buy confidence. Just because you drive a nice car does not make you confident. It becomes in the inside. You gotta believe that you're confident in order to become confident. And I'm telling you, you have the capacity to do it. You can do it. Follow these steps and you will become confident. I got faith in y'all niggas. I got faith. Anybody else might not got faith in you, but I got faith. I believe in this. And I'm telling y'all, if y'all follow these four steps, if you follow this shit for a month straight, everything that I didn't say, you will get laid. I promise you, you gonna get laid. You gonna get some cheeks. Now, I ain't saying you might fuck Holly Berry, but you know what I'm saying? You might fuck Miss, Miss Amber down the street. I know you been wanting to fuck Miss Amber down the street. <laughs> yeah, Miss Amber been looking good since 1952. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, how did I forget? If you want to know the true reason why men are going their own way, check out my next beat. I'm pretty sure you'll like it. I'm gone.